Hey everyone, Maury Curtis Dunbar back at Painted Studio. Thanks for stopping in. All right, so let me set my camera up. Give me just a second to get some people in here. Do all this stuff so I can see what's going on on the camera and I can know what you see. Of course, that means I actually am supposed to be paying attention to what's going on and I don't always manage it. And I know the other thing I need to do is turn off the air conditioner. I should have done that before, but I know that makes it sound like there's a jet engine going through here. Hi, Roberta. Nice to see you popping in. So now that we have that noise off in the background, you should be able to hear me better. Okay, so today we're going to foil some shoes. Um, as you can see in front of me, there's a couple, there's three of them, but this is the one that's left that I haven't prepared. Now, these are some very well-loved shoes. Uh, I've worn them a lot. You can see the toe has been worn. The sides are a little frayed. They're definitely a little soiled. So the first thing I need to do is take some alcohol and clean them. Now, I tried this two different ways. And I found what works actually best, instead of spraying the alcohol on the shoes where it absorbs, um, you spray it into a cloth. This is a coarse old washcloth. And I, this is denatured alcohol in here. You can use rubbing alcohol. But I need something that's not going to be greasy in a cleaner and something not soapy and something that evaporates pretty quickly. But I also have to use something that if there's been any wax or polish on these shoes, which I know personally I haven't polished them because they became, I wore them like three times and they eat, the both pairs got to be studio shoes really fast. But I need to get the dirt off of them. I need to make sure that they're a clean and stable surface for me to do stuff on. So that's what you're gonna see me do. First, we're gonna clean the shoes. Becky and Kay and Karen, thank you all for popping in. So um, I know if you're fans of Jennifer Ferguson of her artistic painting studio, she usually does sneakers. Um, I don't do sneakers. I've done them, but I like leather sneakers to do this on because I don't like a porous surface. And that's just a personal thing for me. I don't... I hate foiling on canvas fabric. I don't like the way the foil breaks apart. Again, that's me. It's a matter of taste. If you like it, don't let me stop you. So these shoes are leather. They have been truly well worn. There is to, so if, if this goes badly, <laughs> I won't feel guilty because these were in the either I foil them or I throw them pile because I've beaten the tar out of them. So we're going to see how this takes. Um, I've done this on leather before, but much stiffer, newer shoes. So they held, you know, they, there were no creases. I wasn't fighting any creases in them or anything like that. But today we're going to be fighting some of that a little bit with these. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you where I'm going to apply the foil. I'm only applying the foil on the tops. On the cream, uh, on the pinky cream nude ones, I'm doing the strap. I'm not doing that on the black because the black has gotten a little scuffed in places, which means that the foil adhesive will be rough on there, and I don't want to have to deal with that. And on the heel, I am not doing this side edge, a because I don't want to have to deal with foil adhesive if I've missed a spot. Quite frankly, sticking to the bottom of my foot, but also this is a hard wear area. And I don't want to put it there either. So I'm picking foils that will look good on these. And I'm picking uh, my application places to make sense for the way I wear things. Now, I've got a ding in the leather. God, I've beaten the tar out of these. And first thing I'm going to do is foil the leather on the block heel. Now, I am not foiling the cap on the shoe heel. Um, that's because if you ever want to replace them, if these hold up well and I want to replace the, I need to get them rehealed, um, they're going to rip off this part and I don't want them ripping off all the foil and everything on there too. I don't want to make that 
messy mistake. So you can see these have been well loved. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to work on this strap. I'm not doing the inside of the strap, just the outside. And I'm going to get really hot in here doing this because I just turned the air conditioner off so you all can hear me. Now all three of the other shoes have already had their foil adhesive applied to it so I'm only showing this on one and uh, I'll get the other later. And yes, I will put a top coat on these to protect them. I'll use Faux Effects Aqua Guard. I'll thin it down a little bit, put a couple layers on so that it stays flexible. All right, this is where I want to take my watch off. I didn't take my watch off before and it made me nuts. Now I'm going to stick my hand into the shoe. And we're going to go right along the, where the leather meets the sole. Now, I've had these shoes for a lot of years. I've worn them a lot. I wore them to the point of comfort and then I wore them to the point of destroying them. That's what happens with these really pointy-toed shoes, especially with the way I walk thanks to my back. I don't lift my feet enough, so I drag my toes in pointy-toed shoe into everything. So I am actually kind of sealing up the toe where I have dragged it before. This is probably the worst of the four shoes. Um, and I may come back and put um, a little more foil adhesive here once this is cured for a little bit just to secure that tip. Almost put like um, a cap on it made out of foil adhesive. right to the edge here so they don't have any missed spots. And get right in there. You want to get right to the seam. You don't want that to be a gap. Pay careful attention to where when you're doing some a pair of shoes like this. And yes, I would do this on sandals too. If I had a pair of leather sandals that needed some love, or I wanted to jazz them up, I was tired of how they looked, um, yeah, I'd sure come in here and work on them like this. All right, so this is the amount I'm foiling on these. I'm going to now set them to the side, let them set up. We're not gonna get to that shoe during that this live because, let's face it, Foil adhesive needs a good hour to set up before it's ready to go. All of these other shoes I did, whoops, there's a glob on there. All of these shoes I did this morning. Oh, come on. Now the brush is falling onto the shoe. It's gonna make a bad mark on there if I don't touch that up. And I did. All right, so let me rub the foil adhesive off my fingertips. Oh, I hate when it gets all over my hands that way. That's why I took my watch off because I kept hitting my watch against the shoe. Thank you, that was my iced tea, so I just needed a, a moment there. Let's see if anybody... Hey, Charlie. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I think they're going to look great too. Now, the black ones, I did not do the strap on. That, the only place I foiled was here on the heel and on the toe because this is kind of frayed a little bit. And like I said before, that makes the leather a little rough. Plus with the foil I'm gonna use, the plain black leather won't be a problem on it. So we're gonna take our black shoes and gonna use our Magnolia foil. And now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see closely. Hey Maddie, nice to see you here. Okay, this is our brand new Magnolia foil. And this is gonna be so pretty on these shoes. Now I'm gonna cut it into some appropriate size pieces so it's a little easier to work with because one big piece like this, it's gonna be a little rough, I think, on 
managing the shoe. So I think, yeah, I got it the right size. So what I'm going to do is carefully lay this on the toe. And you're going to see we're going to have, it's going to make basically make the toe almost gold now because of where I've laid this. But because this is soft leather, I really have to get in here with my fingers and work on it. And there's the crease in the leather. So I really need to make these look complete. I gotta get down to all the edges. And then I'm gonna take my little, my little brush here, scrub in one direction, scrub in the other. The fact that it's warm in here will probably help these apply really nicely. All the, this is going, these two shoes are going to look very different because the other pattern, this whole big magnolia part is going to go on the other shoe. So I'm going to have some very blingy shoes here. Okay, let's get down here. Let's get right at that seam. Now, let's hope this goes comes off as well as I think. I know the foil will release easily. I just hope it. Oh my God! Look how fabulous that is! Holy crap! That's even better than I'd hoped. And I got a little sticky spot down here. And a little sticky spot right over there. Holy, that's a brand new freaking shoe, everybody. That is a new shoe. Look how beautiful that is. I think there's a little crack right there. So I'm just going to come in here with my foil, fill it back in, and there goes that little cracked seam spot. And I'm just going to take a little bit, again, where the folds are, because that's going to be what needs to have a little tension paid. But oh my God. Oh, I'm loving this. All right, so now I'm going to take this foil, come down in here at the heel block, and wrap that a little bit because I have just about the right amount at the top of this to get the rest of this heel. And of course, if I need to fill it in, holy crap, that's so gorgeous. I, I, I was hoping it would be this good, but I was, you know, I don't count on anything because I've had these great ideas before and they didn't turn out so great. <laughs> but this one, oh yes. Right, make sure I got this little foil right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, yeah, it doesn't change the fact that the heel, this area of my shoe is beat up, but I just gave these shoes a whole new life. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, now we got to put this one on. All right, let's put this one on here. Oh, now I'm excited. I didn't know how these were going to come up, but oh, yeah, I'm excited now. <laughs> Again, this one's going to look very, very different from this one, but they are the same foil pattern. So if you want them to look closer to the same, use the same area of the foil on both shoes and just cut it apart until you get it pieced the way you want to. Me, I'm kind of loving the fact that they're not going to be exactly identical. Oh my God, I'm in so in love with this already. Woo. It's like I went shoe shopping and I didn't spend any money. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so in love. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, and I had double foiled the cap of this toe as well, and 
darn, you can't even see that there was a worn spot on there. Oh, I'm so excited. I know, I'm like a little old lady going off in, on my shoes. But I am. I mean, I can't, I, I, I thought these would be good. I didn't know they'd be this good. Now I'm going to have to piece the foil right in there. So I'm not going to go right to the edge because I don't want to have a harsh seam on my foil. But this little bit of the, the yellow will tie it with the other shoe. And then I'm just going to take this and shove it up in there. All right. Oh my God. I am going, I, I am out of my mind. First of all, the release, fabulous. Let me see if I have any questions here. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Roberta. Hi, Cindy. Aren't they amazing? And yes, the foil release is spectacular. Okay. So even if I hate how I do the other shoes, I have a brand new pair of fabulous shoes. Oh, I'm so excited by this. I can't even begin to tell you. Oh, I'm like a little kid. All right, I'm going to set these aside. And we're going to do the one shoe on this one, this pair. Because if these are crap, if this doesn't turn out well, I'll be like, ah, well, I got one good one out of it. Now, remember, we did foil, the, it put foil adhesive on the strap here as well as the heel. And I'm actually going to use the same because I've been trying to pick a color that would work with this sort of pinky nude and honest to God nothing I have really looks that good with it so I'm just gonna wing it and see how I like this because I love this Zane pattern I did a glasses case with it over black and was wowed by it I mean seriously seriously wowed by it so we're gonna try this and I'm going to cut this piece in half because the other half will be for the other shoe when it sets up and I won't leave here tonight without finishing the shoes or throwing away this pair whichever way that goes. Okay, say a little prayer for me that this one comes out as well because the, t the toe is going to tell me what I need to know. The, the front of the shoe. The rest of it, I don't care. But if this comes out as great as the other pair, I'm going to be so excited. And the thing is, with the nude, if this part will disappear under my foot. So that doesn't matter. The only part of the strap that I didn't put foil adhesive on was right here where the elastic is obvious for obvious reasons. Hope this comes out as cool. Oh, I would be so excited. And this will tell you what happens when you release some of these patterns over a light color too, because the black we all know always looks amazing. Little broken. But actually not too bad. I think if I lay, I'm going to take this other piece and sort of lay it over it. This might take a little more. It was, I'm just fill in those other spots. And we're going to see. I, I make no promises that these will look as good as the black. For whatever reason, this one was a little stickier. Oh my gosh, that really looks good. There's a little broken part here, and I didn't hit this spot here, so I'm going to get that. And it may be because of the way the le black leather was treated versus the nude leather. Um, it may be, it could be anything, quite frankly. I, I can't even tell you why, because I, I literally treated both of them exactly the same. But you know what? I'm not mad. 
these are still really sharp looking. The release is not as good on here as it was with the, the um, Magnolia. But it's not the foil, it's the shoe because as I said, I did um, a couple of uh, eyeglasses cases and I used this on the glasses case and it released absolutely perfectly. So I'm, I'm going to say right now that the difference in the way this releases is absolutely all about the shoe and the leather and how it was treated versus anything else. But you know what? Darn, that's awfully cute. That is awfully cute. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I think they're pretty fabulous too. All right, well, since I obviously need a little more foil to do um, this shoe because of the way it releases, I'm not mad. So it'll take me, a, you know, a little more than a square foot of foil or about a square foot of foil to do this light color. And it took me, or I say, do one shoe and whereas a half a foot did the other shoe. Again, I can't, I'm not mad. It is what it is. Because darn, this is cute. And this is giving me, again, brand new pairs of shoes. Let go. Smooth out. Brand new pairs of shoes and all I'm, you know, the cost, it's the cost of the foil and the foil adhesive. I'm not buying shoe, new shoes. I'm getting new shoes for a little bit of foil. Yeah, that's cute though. That is really cute. I'm going to come back in at the, the heel strap here. Fill in a few spots. But yeah, that is so cute. I, I'm not mad. I got to tell you, I'm really very pleased with this because I'm, I'm, these were shoes I was ready to throw out. They were, they're, they've been beat to crap and the finish on them didn't look very good anymore. So I'm really happy with this. Yeah, and you see, it just it came off smoother on the heel, so it may be because these these were more worn. But this was a super easy release down here where it was, um, you know, where it's pulled tight. And I I will honestly say, believe it or not, I've worn the nude ones more than I've worn the black ones. So I may have just done enough to beat the finish on this that it's going to release a little differently. Now, if these were brand new shoes um, and it still had that nice new patina on the leather, I would put money on, I'd get an almost perfect release on here, just like I did with the black. Okay, I gotta tell you, it's cute as can be. I might come back in, I might put a little more foil adhesive right up here at this edge, but really, how do I argue with this? I've got, I'm going to wait for that other foil adhesive to set up, but look at this, my cute new black shoes, and then I'm going to have these as light nudes. I mean, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just thrilled to pieces. Now the one thing I will do. And then let me open up the camera again. There we go. So the one thing I'm going to do with these is I'm going to let them dry overnight before I top coat them. This is something I discovered with the vinyl glasses case because this soaked into the leather a little bit it needs a little more cure time before I want to put a top coat on it because what happened, and it's a very cool effect, but what happened was I, um, oops, I knocked the frame. When I, when I coated, used these foils and put them on two glasses cases, I put AquaGuard 
right over them after I was done foiling. And I had only put the foil adhesive on that morning. They actually cracked. A very cool crackle effect. It was really, really nice. But I think what I want to do is wait and see if waiting overnight prevents that from happening. If not, that may be what just happens over leather. I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm going to come back in there and there's a little tiny spot there that needed my attention. But I'm not, again, I'm not going to be mad at any of that. I've got two darling new pairs of shoes. No arguments with me on those. I am so happy I did this. These were sitting in the back of my closet. I almost got rid of them this spring because I knew they, I mean, literally before we cleaned them today, this was all covered in mud and everything. It was a mess. So I cannot tell you how excited I am that we went from this to this and from solid black to this gorgeous magnolia. I'm, I'm going to tell you all now, foil your shoes. If you're looking, if they're looking tired, clean them up foil your shoes. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, everybody. I think we're... Uh, how about on sneakers? Yes, you can do them on sneakers. Um, no problem. I think I said this earlier, if you missed it earlier. Um, I've done foiling on leather sneakers before. I have a pair, a couple pairs that I wear in the wintertime. Um, I'm not crazy about foiling on canvas, and that is a personal thing. I just don't like the way foil looks released on canvas. It's me. It's not anything other than the way I like things, so I don't foil sneakers. But I have, this is, these are leather shoes. I love them. You could use these all on canvas as well. Remember though, canvas has a texture. So leather is smooth. Le leather like this is nice and smooth. So you get a nice even release. If you're going to do this on canvas, you're going to have to put at least two coats of adhesive on because you're going to seal up that grain a little bit, that texture a little bit, and then put another coat on. And it's going to have that texture. Um, if you don't care for that, don't do it. If you love your sneakers and you want magnolia flowered sneakers, I'm telling you, go do it. Go do it. All right, as you can see, we obviously have our Zane and our Magnolia in stock. We have all the new uh, Raven Snake, Shiva, Serpico, Black Bubbles, all of that. If you've been on our page at all or gone over to the Foil Everything page, um, you've seen we've done all kinds of fun little things, frames, and we actually, yesterday I did some uh, Russian style nesting dolls that I got the blanks on Michael's from. So we are using our brand new foils on everything. Do not hesitate to jump in, come and order some foil from us. Also, don't forget, it is still June, so we still have our product of the month going. If you haven't gotten an email about it recently or you haven't seen a post about it, June product of the month is the Artsyville Metallic Paste. We did a live with that using it on picture frames with rollers and underfoil and all kinds of cool stuff. Use code JUNE20 to save 20% and that goes right through the end of this month. All right, everybody, have a fabulous day. I am so excited about my shoes. I don't even know how to talk straight about them anymore. I'm like, ah, little kid. All right, everyone, have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.